someone who is it who really needs to come but not just personal you there by the yes you come you see I'm not saying the rest of you are not, okay? But just, I can't choose five people at the same time. Huh? Okay. That's it. Hello, Musi. Hello. <clears throat> like you were saying yesterday, we, we should not, we should change, not exchange. And when you. No, I said you should not worry too much about changing because something is being exchanged. Freedom, we think freedom is not for uh, the person. Freedom is from the person. You understand that, what I mean? As long as the person is there, it will be a little bit, uh, seem like it's uh, trying for freedom, but another way it's avoiding it at the same time. So with the identity, it will always be creating some uh, avoidance, uh, some seeming attraction, some, there's always this yes and no, maybe uh, uh, this is playing. Um, so when the person itself is being observed rather than embraced as the starting place of the seeing, when the person itself is seen, uh, a space is there and an awareness of what it is that is uh, perceiving. So I call it an exchange of uh, identity. In fact, you don't become a new identity. The self is not an identity, and it is not an entity also. So, so what is that space or consciousness? Like, I feel my mind plays with it. So my mind shifts from this old to the new, and yeah. I feel this is the new self, or yeah. this is self. And then I get into the trap of the mind. The mind doesn't play with it, the mind plays in it. The mind cannot play with awareness. It reminds me one time, one man, he said to me, you know, I, I, I'm so frustrated, you know, why is God keep uh, playing around with me? Why is God playing with me? Uh, I'm playing with you. He said, no, God is not playing with you, God is playing as you. Then he goes, ah, <laughs> ah something changed. A simple way of looking. Uh, mind is uh, appearing now that, you know, yeah, the mind itself is, is discussing awareness. Yes. You know, like if you imagine, like I say, a book and all these characters, all these varied characters, and you imagine that the characters in the book are arranging a little demonstration about how the next chapter should be written. Uh. And they're going to approach the author and say, we don't agree with your <laughs> ideas. You see, so whatever mind is doing, it's only a play inside the unchanging self in which mm, it is being perceived also. Can you take that view? Can you see like that? My doubt is, what I see is not just the part of my mind or is beyond mind. How to differentiate this? Ah, so your doubt is that, uh, that what you see is what? It's not my mind, it's really me. You being what? I don't, I don't have any experience but what you call space or awareness. So this awareness and space is coming from my mind only. No. How to differentiate? Coming from your mind. So the mind has created the awareness itself. So therefore, there can never be awareness without mind. I think it's the other way around. The awareness can be by itself, but uh, the, the, the mind cannot be without awareness. Consider the example of wind and space. If there is a wind, also you cannot see the wind, you can see only its effect, no? Now, the wind needs space in order to blow and to travel. You see? So if the wind is there, automatically space must be there. But space can be there without the wind, with wind or without wind. But the wind cannot be there without space. 
The mind is like the wind. The awareness is like the space. So what I, ex what I have experience of wind is because of the space. I don't have any experience of the space. So whatever yeah. I know about space, yeah. based on my belief, yeah. based on the definitions I read in the yeah. books, yeah. So, how to experience that space? Ah. Ah, no. <laughs> you know, I gave example what happened also with myself, so it's a very intimate story, because when I finally went in front of my own master, I'd sat with him for quite a long time, and uh, you know, for a while I didn't really want to, I was hesitating to go and see him. I knew I had to meet him at one point, and I'm benefiting from everybody's question, you know? Uh, but I didn't go up. But the day that I wrote uh, to him and went to see him, he read my letter and he said, uh, you know, you want, to f you want to find God, you want to dare to be God and you who find God. Uh, and that cannot work. You see, if you are going to find God or Truth, you must disappear. You see? He said, but, oh, okay, but, uh, but if I disappear, how am I going to find God? This is mine, you see? If I disappear, how am I going to know I find God? I won't be there. You see? So this is the kind of logic of the personal identity. So those words, Master tells us some things, that your mind cannot solve, the person cannot do. I said, well, how do I vanish? You tell me, you vanish, how oh, I vanish? Abracadabra, boom. <laughs> Nothing happened, no, no. What a, what a useless advice. But it was not an advice that my mind could carry out. That words, those words, the grace and the power of them, uh, started to twist and turn inside my being. I was experiencing them and uh, actually interpreting them like, you know, oh, this, this fire, and oh, I just want to get away from these people. And blah, 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 blah. At some point, it just detonated, boom, like this. And what happened? I could not say what I'm going to say before, but I vanished. Something vanished. Listen, something vanished. And in that instant, the vanishing, the absence of the person I believed I am was not there. The reference from my private self was not there. But something was there to notice that this one is not there. This is the one you must find. This one appears to be hidden by the other one who I've been thinking I am. In that instant, when somehow it was not there and somehow I found looking in my hands, I said, but there's no, there's no one here. I would not have been able to say that. I don't know. That sounds like madness. How can you, somebody, a person, the body is there, and someone is saying, I can't find myself. Also in the story of Sri Ramakrishna, one of, his, one of his devotees, who later became known as Swami Vivekananda, as a young boy, I think his name was Naren or something like that, at one point, he was all, he had, uh, more of an Advaitic uh, temperament for non-duality. The Master was always talking about Kali and Manas. So there was a little bit, some little tension. But one day, I think one of the other um, disciples, Rakal or something, uh, ran up to the Master's room and says, Master, Master, you know, he was a bit agitated. He said, uh, Naren or Vivekananda uh, is going crazy because he can't find himself. He's running around, ah, where am I, where am I, Whoa, where am I? Everybody thinks, but I can see you. But within himself, he, that's not him. This is not me. My, my self-knowing, the idea I have of myself, where is it? Where is it? Where? Looking around, you see? So the, the other disciple went up to the master and said, uh, Naren is, is going crazy, he can't find himself. Please, master, come. The master said, Leave him alone like this for a while. <laughs> He's caused enough trouble. Let him <laughs> run around for a bit. It will soon be okay. No? So this is the same thing almost everybody has. We have lived with a certain idea about ourselves, constantly 
um, upgrading and the things, are a self-image of ourselves, which I call the idea we have of who we are, and that somehow is masking the reality of what is. It seems to do that. That's why I use the term the mask of God. And so uh, the mask is asking, but how can I meet my true face? The shadow, if I put my hand, and there's a shadow of the hand, no matter what I do, I cannot turn the shadow into my hand. So this thing you are saying is similar, you see. You are saying, but uh, I am. How can I, you know, I'm aware of the space, but how can I be the space? I'm aware of space. Maybe the space you're aware of is a, the phenomenal space, the sense of spaciousness. There's a sense of space that the seeker, even though it is phenomenal and still carries some personal characteristics, the, the, the sattvic aspect of the seeker is already sensing that there is, there is something really immense. But how can I, how can I be? I can't be that because I am seeing that space. But the one who is showing is not saying it's not that space. The space you're talking about is also housed inside the space of the self. So space, using the word space as a synonym for the self is not quite accurate. In fact, no word can convey what this is. It is beyond all concepts. Then imagination tries to imagine beyond all concepts. <laughs> Let's Google. And Google is going to tell you something. It's going to give you an image of nothing or something like that. So it's the same. So now, what to do now? You say, but I, how can I be the space? I, I, I'm only aware of senses and mind and everything tangible, the, everything on this side of the eyes, I can see. The play of the elemental world, I can see this. Behind the eyes is like a realm of uh, feelings and thoughts, mm, identity, emotion. That also, somehow, I can see. Where is the location of that which can see outside and inside simultaneously? Where is it? Outside or inside? It is aware of outside and inside also. It's unaffected by the sense of outside and inside. Who is receiving this question? Is it the mind? Now the mind is thinking, where? I don't have a reference for beyond outside and inside. It seems to capture everything, really. I mean, so what can perceive this? So it will not be a mental answer. It has to be an experiential answer or a revelation of some sort. Hmm? But to who? Who will receive it? I said, I'm searching for truth. Master say, vanish. I said, what is that? Vanish. But then something happened, and then the truth, whatever you may say, which could not be imagined before, uh, is seen as the most obvious. But is not seen as in one thing seeing another. The very seeing is seen. How to solve this? Well, there's nobody there solving anything. It is just this. It is even just this now in you also. But the mind is saying, yeah, but you know, but how can I change from here? It says, not change. It's not change. Maybe change of perspective will happen. You see? But it's not the outcome of a doing, an understanding. An understanding is taking place. So refresh me again now. What do you want to know now? Let's start from now. What do you want to know? Now with your thoughts, I I try to see that self. Yes. And I went to that space. But what I can see with within few seconds or minutes, yeah. this is captured 
with my mind, you know? Yes, Comes yes, into of my course. Mind bound yes, to... yes. Okay, stop. Now, uh, when listening to my words, uh, I went to that uh, space. No? So this I who went to the space is still your person. Your person is trying to see, now I go to the best thing as, as much as I can come near to what I think Muji is speaking. I go to the space. That is as close a synonym in concepts that I can come to what you're speaking. But the I who is going to that place, to, to the space, is also an image perceived in something. Yes. What is that something and where is it? The something is the one I felt I am. The one you feel you are and the one who feels I am this are both perceived without effort. They are, appear and they disappear. They appear in this moment with passion and feeling and doubt and everything. All of that is registering somehow momentarily in uh, some kind of knowingness. I'm not getting you. <laughs> I am not getting it is also it's perceived. <laughs> the sense I am not getting, ah, oh, I'm not getting it, is also uh, uh, perceived without effort. Or I could say it's not getting into my mind. <laughs> yeah. It's, yes, yes. It's too All much. this is perceived. Uh, all this is perceived. You're not going to get away today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all this is perceived. You know, but still something is holding into the standing place of the person which has been your singular reference place all your life. You're looking from the perspective of person. I, you know, but I don't see it. Now I've gone, look, I've gone to space now. I'm looking at space and I, I can see the space, but I, but I, I some, but even this is also seen without effort. By nobody, it is seen. You yourself admit, the fact is already there. And now we are searching for proof. But the fact is the proof. But we want to experience, you know, but I now I agree or experience. But if you say, yes, oh, oh Muji, I got it, it's also perceived. What are we speaking about? Can the mind uh, catch it? You see? Have you ever tried, somebody told you, when you close the fridge door and you close, does the light go off? <laughs> <laughs> no? When you close, you go, does the light go off? When you open, was the light on? You cannot know. <laughs> Automatic. You are trying to, can I. <laughs> See the self? <laughs> I gotcha, gotcha. And that, even if it happens in a billionth of a second, is still also seen by that which is not moving. What is the problem? Look and see what is the problem, if, there, if you want to call it a problem or a challenge. The strong attachment to the perspective and the belief in personhood that the person must see something and get it. The finder, the seeker, is looking to catch what it is searching for and then to say, I got it. So who can get the infinite one? Can the finite capture the infinite? Can the relative conquer the absolute? What is absolute? From the relative standpoint, absolute is an abstraction. It's a myth, maybe an idea. How can we know it really exists? How can we really know if the absolute exists? Maybe it's just an idea from the mind. Did you study something? What did you study? 
I'm, I used to read Osho uh -huh. and other books related to okay. spirituality and uh -huh. self-searching. Uh -huh. Okay, if I say now, uh, uh, I feel I have trust in you, you can do. If I say I could do this, and everything that you have learned, including the idea you have of yourself, just leave it. We don't want it right now, right now. Because your aspiration is to discover that. Who can discover the Self? We are going to see. So if in an instant you can cut all this, you know, it's not going to be, all the books you have read has helped up to a point to prepare the mind for the darshan of its own source. Now we don't need. We are going to the tenth step. You take each one is important on the way up, but now you're the ninth, now you're the tenth. Now the steps are not necessary now. They brought you to where you are now. So now leave all the steps, leave all the learning, all the understanding you have collected. They are in you, their, their essence is in you. Now you leave everything, everything altogether. Like I said, everything. And even the idea of next. So you are not waiting for what is going to happen. So no next, just leave everything now. So only what is, which is not a construct, it is not a belief, it is not a learning, all that we say leave aside now, everything, including the idea you may have of yourself, what you have done, how much meditation, what books, you, what temples, what pilgrimages, what introspection, leave everything, 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 everything. Why am I asking to do that? Leave everything. Because if we leave everything, what remain? Do we need to go to thought? No, leave thought. Look, some power in you will know what remain if everything, all my ideas, all my learning, all my practices has brought me to this point. Now everything is gone. Everything is gone. Including the idea I have of myself. What is here now? Don't imagine. Imagination also you leave. Don't, vi don't visualize, don't create, leave everything. So there's nothing to boast about. Now do it. Something remains that cannot be removed. It cannot go, because it never came. It must be just what is here. What remain? Is it something that you can see as an object or something? No. No. Is it personal, anything there? No. Yeah. Is it anything that needs believing in? No. Yeah. Is it knowledgeable or ignorant? No. I don't know it's a feeling or what it is exactly mm -hmm. but it's the most closest word i can use is expansion 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 expansion, expansion. that even expansion or expansiveness is also perceived it's okay don't get rid of that uh, a sense of expansiveness is perceived yeah but by what is it perceived in what is it perceived don't follow expansion, let it happen. Because uh, just to see, it's not a trick of the mind. Don't follow expansion. No? You are noticing that. Don't get any further involved. Don't look, don't create, don't imagine. What is here by itself, which you did not create, you did not put, what is here? Expansion is a movement. 
moving in what, expanding in what? It's a feeling of being, just being, even yeah. not just, is being, is yeah. being. Yes. The sense of being is also perceived. Don't judge, just you notice. Even a sense, something is there, uh, it's looking. It's looking and it hopes to find something. But whatever it finds becomes something. And even the one searching is also perceived. Even the act of seeking is also perceived. That in which the act or the functioning of perception is itself perceived. Don't create. What is here? Anything tangible? Any quality? And that which is aware of this is where? That which is aware of even the subtlest of the subtle is itself where? Apart from it? Could you say? I cannot say anything now. Yes. You who cannot say anything is what? What I am experiencing, if I try to put in words, it vanishes. Yes. I being what who would try to put it into words? Is that not also perceived? When you ask me, I, I need to bring my mind to answer, otherwise… When I ask, not when I ask you. A response takes place, hmm? a seeking is activated, and the very seeking being activated is also perceived. Who can deny? What is here that cannot be caught, cannot be owned? It is not a religion, it is not a philosophy, it is not a belief system. Is it an entity of some sort we are searching for? No. And the one who is searching also is what? The very seeking. Or if there is a one behind the seeking, seeking. So the seeking and the seeker are also seen, perceived. What is here now? What is it? Is it something doing something? Is that itself seeking? The seeker is seeking it, but what the seeker is seeking, is that seeking? Is that seeking the seeker? Now there is a silence. The silence is also perceived. Can that be caught? Can it be photographed? (coughs) 
We are trained and cultured through the mind to find something. At the end of our research, we must have some data, we must have something we can investigate, and we can say, yeah, this is constant, this is a fact. Can this apply here? Who can catch it, when the one trying to catch it is already perceived in it, and is irrelevant also? Even the trying is perceived. Even the intention, with closed palms seeking, is perceived. We may say, what? What to say now? Anything that comes from the mind is perceived. What remain? Even the idea of yourself searching is perceived. So, what by what? What remain? What is here that cannot be removed and cannot be brought? What is it to see? It is not other. It is the only one who is not other. Everything is other, but it is not other. The first principle of knowing, even, of phenomenal knowledge, must be the I principle that says, I know and I am. This I itself is perceived. Can you confirm? Can you confirm? Yes. Therefore, the confirmation must be happening where? Out there? Where is the confirmation happening? Can it be answered? Who will receive the answer? Can it be affected by that? Where is it? Where is it not? Where is it? Can you point? Where is it? Are you paralyzed? What has happened? If you are paralyzed, also this is also perceived. You are at the you are at the pinnacle of seeing. Now what is here? On the very top of the mountain, after a lot of climbing, 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 the very top, the top, on top of the top is what? <laughs> if Shiva is there, he is also seen.
I would really like to know why these people are leaving. Even to go to at uh, to what? In the call of nature. Yeah, this is call of God. You say. I don't want to say anything. You being what? What I feel you pointed me then, I have to use this I, you know. I don't yeah. want to say even this. Did you become that I? Because of my question? Did you become an I? Or you've always been there as an I? Or both are seen? It's like the human consciousness is like a series of number on a combination lock. And one by one in satsang we are listening. <laughs> last one, last one. <laughs> <laughs> but that is also seen. Can it be like that? The last thing to twist mm, is also seen. There is nothing to happen to that. You take up a position that you are in a position trying to see that. But you are that, watching the idea of yourself trying to see it. I'm helping you too much. The most uh, profound concept is that I. I. There cannot be you before I, because you are in relation to I. The first form must be I. I am. We all say I am. Then why do you regard God as you? Oh, you alone are everything. You, why you? When your very I is shaped in front of that, which is prior to I. Must we leave it here? Yes. No. <laughs> He's going. Uh, <laughs> even that you see. <laughs> this is the seeming riddle, the mystery mm, of the human experience in its search for its own source. And look what is happening. Because still the eye wants to have a, resu a result. The eye that is the familiar eye wants to have a result. I, I, I just want to catch it, Nogurji. Help me to catch it. So, how you can catch that which is the infinite one, in which you, you yourself cannot exist? outside of the infinite. So please, speak correctly. What is it? 
Yet the, the insistence, the persistence, the faith, the what you may call the loyalty to the sense of I as a private entity, it's like I say, a fingernail can hide the sun. What is this fingernail? I. Sun is there, finger is here, I am here. Where is the self? Is it on the other side of the thumb? When I say self, what comes to you? What does it arouse in you? Huh? Isness. Weakness? Isness. 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 Is. What, what is? But for the human mind, even what is feels like an abstraction. We need evidence. We need proof. Put it under the microscope, let's have a look. We need proof. This is the mind. It wants proof. And proof is proof in the tangibility, measurable. It must have quality in order to be perceived. If it doesn't have quality, it's relevant, it cannot be proved. So, how can you prove? Well, thankfully, you don't have to prove this to anybody. You must become the proof that this is embodied. Embodied or disembodied, it doesn't matter. But that this is, you only can confirm. No need to go to scientists. He can't confirm. Maybe just through conditioning, we are accustomed to, to like, we have come to the edge, we need something. The proof is missing. We have done everything, we come finally, and the final analysis is. Something tangible, measurable, perceivable, possessible. What? So until you discover this yourself, hmm, we continue in ignorance of our fundamental nature. You cannot know it and be apart from it. Here, knowing and being are one. And there is no one being it. It gives even the sense of beingness its being. Do you wish it was something easier, something that we can catch? Because you believed more in a fact about yourself as a person than the fact of yourself as awareness in which the person appears. Is this a good satsang? Yes. Mm. Raise your clap. <laughs> For me, it's not. <laughs> you are still there, huh? <laughs> no matter what, I'm huh? holding on in there, boy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Nothing can remove you. <laughs> We have had this also yesterday. I met with some of the Sangha, and it was meant to be for uh, 45 minutes. Three, how many hours? Four hours on there. 
<laughs> One Amma, are you here Amma today? She told me, I have to get it, I have no time. Where are you? We say, she said, I have no time. Huh? Where are you? Yes, she is. She said, she has no time, I have no time, I must get it today. I said, mm, come. Four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, she said, I just can't. This, this me is still there. You can relate, no? Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> After everything, this me, it's just still there. I said, but so what does it matter? This me is only a sense, a sensation. Watched, isn't it? in that which is not a sensation. Swamiji, could you help me? So this is great because this is something that we must face. Otherwise all our practices, all our rituals, all our reading, all the meditation is stopping short. Because we are preserving this I identity, which is not going to cooperate with anything that threatens its existence. <laughs> it's true, no? Yeah. It even wants to conquer the infinite. I want to find my true self, but I want to be there to receive it. And I want to be photographed or something. <laughs> I wonder if there is some fear, and we hinted at this some while ago, that perhaps there is some fear that this is my last everything, all, all the fingers have let go except one. If I let go, ah, so uh, this one thing, I can't let go because we don't know what's going to happen, and maybe it's all a trick, and I will lose myself and gain nothing at all. Maybe there is some fear. And if there is fear, you may find you do everything that is religiously and spiritually asked and listed. You go through all the steps. But at the, very, at the very gate of nirvana, you'll find somebody, a real estate person is <laughs> selling apart apartments outside the gate of nirvana <laughs> at a good price <laughs> all this imagined all this is dream all this is dream so i pulled the fear card up to say is there fear that somehow i need proof first and then i'll take it So the fear card and the faith card are both pulled. I don't know because in a sense I'm sensing that there's nothing. And there is something comforting about being something. I have my privacy. I have my apartment. If I'm everything, I'm going to be spread too thin, I don't know. Maybe this, but maybe not that. What is it, sir? This I want to sit back. <laughs> is that I that wants to sit back what you are? Is it a reliable one? No. <laughs> because we understand, no? 
It wants to, oh, it's getting a bit hot here. I, I want to sit back. Could you not take somebody else now? I've been here. I've been here long enough. I don't want to, you know, to take somebody else's pay. Is the apologetic eye now? <laughs> Why am I staying with you? Because I know what you may discover. I love to see you go through. But something, somebody else is in there also vying for your attention and he wants to sit down. Was he the one who put the hand up? Was he the one who put the hand up in the first place? And is now retracting, like, I want to sit down. I am happy you are honest enough to say, uh, something want to sit down. We know this one. We all live with him. He is the same guy living in everybody's house. <laughs> we know him very well. He lives in every country and in everybody. Now he wants to sit down. Huh? He could have been the one who wanted to stand up also. What do you stand to lose? You being what? What is losing or gaining for you? Who are you? This is uh, uh, perhaps the most important discussion taking place on the planet right now. But it's just my view. Huh? You want to come there? Are you going to let him? Are you relieved or you know boosted? <laughs> He's coming. Okay. Relief. <laughs> I want to admit that all he is saying that was the same thing what I want to say. I wanted to say. Yes. The same questions, the same efforts I was doing since last so many years. I am attending your uh, satsang for four or five years. But there was always a knot. It was not open in any satsang. I was tried my best. I was with Osho also mm. and with so many other gurus also. But this, was, this knot was not open. This what? Not open. Not at open. At that time. Yeah. And last week, when Sri Anantaji was here, I met him at his room and he told me, he asked me so many questions, did meditation with me and he told me, now you enjoy, there is no need uh, to be sincere in your satsang and you enjoy the rest of the season. But I was not satisfied. But today, when he came with all these questions, I found that, that, what, what I was searching for, yes. it was already, it was, but I cannot explain it. Yes, yes. It Have was, you, he has come to the last step. No, yes, I was also there. Have you? <laughs> I was also with him. Yes. Have you, have you, have you passed the last step? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what nonsense I was doing. I want to say what nonsense I was doing. How? I was, I was trying to look at it. Yes. It was, it was never possible. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Never possible. Yeah. It, it, I, 
I, I can say, but I want to say it was it. Yes. How can I see it? Yes. I couldn't. I couldn't see it. I can never see it. No one can see it. Yes. And because, because all the waste effort to see it. Yes. Why you can nobody can see it because it was waste effort. It was waste because it is it. Yes. <laughs> it is it. <laughs> it is it. My heart is jumping. <laughs> My heart is jumping. I couldn't wear it. I want to touch your feet now. <laughs> Please allow me because I do not want to talk with you. Yeah, 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 I yeah, want yeah, to yeah. be with you. Yes. It was it. It was it. It was it. It, it yeah. can never be found. It yeah. can never be found with this. Yeah. All this. All this. All these effort, efforts are waste. Yeah. They are nonsense. Yeah. They are just to show it that efforts are waste. Yes. One cannot can one cannot find it. Yes. It is if it is if if itself wants to come over, then it come over, otherwise cannot, cannot, cannot. One self is it. One true self is it. There is no you seeing it. You cannot see it. Even and the you, even the you found. trying to see it is seen in it. One there is only it. it. It is there. It is also. It is already there. Yes. How can you find it? Yes. <laughs> no, one, no one can find it. <laughs> Musi, I don't waste. Don't want to waste your time. Please allow me to touch your feet and want to go back. <laughs> I also want to sit there. Yes. <laughs> Please just. Bless. Where is my feet? <laughs> <laughs> this is. This is. This is. This. <laughs> Don't do with this me. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Come and give me a hug. What <laughs> 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 My heart is something now. Yes. 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 Wonderful. I can hear it. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this reason, I come. For this reason, I come. <laughs> For so many years, I wanted to come there. I talk with you, but I couldn't. I didn't dare. But thank you, my brother. You, <laughs> you, thank you, thank you, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, my brother. You brought me here. Otherwise, I couldn't. I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. I am not saying anything. Yes. It is just me, sir. Yes. Please, yes. please allow me to speak. <laughs> I am. <laughs> you say you will not leave me. How can I? You can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I don't waste, don't want to waste your time. It is enough. Yes, that was the best use of time. You have had the best use of time. How oh, you can waste my time? I have no time to waste. <laughs> These persons yeah. are also watching you. Yes. And naturally I am taking your time, but no. I want to thank you again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Gotcha. Okay.
Okay, very good. Okay. You are happy to go back now? I'm happy. Happy. You're just happy? I'm just happy. That's good. About what? <laughs> that you helped to deliver Papa or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> he came here, <laughs> he came here uh, to be born, but he ended up being midwife. <laughs> hey. What fun we're having today. <laughs> Now, before you go back, what happens? I? This is not that I. Yeah. <laughs> will, not, will not go back. Yes. Will stay. Will not or cannot? Is there? Maybe I'm doubting it can, but it's there for now. I can only accept it's there for now if this now is timeless. But if this now is for the moment, uh, it will not be. If you say, I will not go back there, I will not go back, then you have taken on a task. You will have to be there to make sure I don't go back. But if you realize there's no one to go back or even to stay, you are free. Who sees this? Do you follow? Yes. Yes. Uh, maybe right now there is a, a disassociation from that, something is seen, and this is very good. But don't uh, leave this one to keep an identity of the one who left that one. You follow or not? Yeah. Because very subtle is identity, you see. I leave this one. No, I don't want this one anymore. I will not go back to him. But this I has to stay somewhere, and that staying will become an effort. What is that which is not an effort? It just is. There's no distance, it's not separate, it's not apart. It cannot be reached. It cannot be owned. It cannot even be lost. It alone is. Everything else is dream. Everything else is passing. Accept this.
the I feeling, even in its loudest, even in its most pronounced manifestation, if it as a content, as a person, as a someone, as an entity, is also traffic, also watched effortlessly, without eyes, it is seen without eyes, it is perceived only, and of no real consequence. It is not the outcome of determination only. Determination as a power. Determination may say, it doesn't matter what comes, I will stay, I will continue, and that may have a power. But determination cannot be determined into the self, because there is some entity behind who is the determiner. And that is also perceivable. Naturally, naturally it is there. What is hiding this? You may call that the, the essence of Maya. Something is being looked for because when we embrace the idea of a someone as an entity, it is a thing and it is searching for other things even things which are not made out of the elements, maybe things as an idea even, becomes a thing. A thought becomes a thing also. It is feeding on things. But the Self is not a thing. The world of thingfulness includes the sense of person, although the person is seemingly a mixture of personal identity, and beingness. The identity with the name and the form is leading more and more towards the sense of personhood. The sense of beingness is going more towards the Self, you may say, in the play. <clears throat> Don't want to speak too much now. All this time you're standing there, something has not moved. If one thousand people wake up to the Self, the Self has not grown bigger. It is beyond quality, beyond size. It alone is imperishable, unborn, uncreated, indivisible. And it is not a thing, nor are you. We have a thing-like being, the body, and the body-mind, uh, the sense of identity gives us the sense of objective existence. This is a time body, but the timeless is existing and experiencing through it. When it takes on identity with the body and believes, it becomes a person, and the person is always pursuing the personal. At best, through pain and difficulties in the world and the realm of the person, the sattva of the person aspires for the impersonal. All of you have come to that point already. And now only what? This uh, final seeing, you see, that uh, sometimes whatever you think you have grown, whatever you think you have developed, whatever you think you have uh, accomplished, we want to take it forward. But it all stops here, for the infinite does not need it. It may be still beautiful to continue beautifying the manifestation for a while, then this is fine. But for the ultimate seeing, this final one, even in its most sattvic 
expression must also be seen as phenomenal or something. And it is. It's not that there is some big mountain to climb to see this. I cannot say what it is. Some twist of seeing and what happens? It is admitted. You confess. Yes, I, I am that. The one who confesses is not a person anyhow. Something may. Maybe it's the last word spoken with the mixture of person or presence and the absolute, and then no more. I am I am that. You see. So if it is worth anything, my blessing and the prayer is that each and every one in whose heart genuinely is beating this urge for ultimate seeing, that each one comes to that ultimate understanding, that final seeing, and is timelessly happy and free. So much so that your presence shines with the light of real knowledge, godly presence, uh, wisdom. And that whoever meets you on the road of life, who carry within them some urge also, that they will be so, so touched by encountering the truth in you, the peace, the joy, the love, the openness, the compassion, the silence, that they be so they be so impacted by that, that they are compelled to search within themselves to find that which they perceive in you and also win freedom. May that search for freedom be contagious again in the human kingdom, that which brings lasting and everlasting happiness and peace and joy. But be reminded that there are forces functioning inside our body-mind system, inside our being, that will play to oppose your liberation in the beginning. Only later, at a mature stage, will you be able to use the energies coming from there to convert them into auspicious spiritual vitamins for awakening. But in the beginning, it can feel like, oh, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. My mind is attacking in order, so I, it, this path is not for me, and you will give up, at least for a time. But I would see and sense from the, the atmosphere and from the energy field that is in this room that uh, there are many beings that are here mature and ready, 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 ready for that uh, uh, final seeing. Grace brought you here, God brought you here to complete your seeing. I don't see any natural impediment apart from transcending this final attachment, the first attachment, I am this person, you see. First attachment maybe is to the I. I am this person uh, brought such diverse experiencing, painful and beautiful, and it will still continue, even the sense I am is still there, and we will still taste the things, but now we will not be complaining, because you are skilled in the Self to live uh, the life of the manifestation, and still you are beyond it as pure awareness. It's not that we are dismissing cynically, oh, life is no... No, life is beautiful. It can be beautiful when your eyes are clean and the mind is clean. It is ugly when the ego is still virile and is playing as the landlord in this house. 
but this house is the house of God. And we are awakening to our original nature. That's all it is. This is, this is the possibility of satsang. And I have no doubt, I would not have come, not just by my own will, but I would not have been allowed to come, if there were not the space and the hearts open to receive the pointings to take flight into the infinite. But it is not for me to keep a score. Have this attitude. If I say one hundred people here will wake up, will you be one of them? Yes. This is it. <clears throat> Thank you. Love you, love you, love you. All this is love, without love story. <laughs> this is the love. No? Mm. Okay, thank you for today. <clears throat>